Hello everyone! Welcome back to Blackwell Legacy. Indeed, I have missed a room. I was wandering around and then I noticed the RA's room, so... When last time I was like, hey, I'm gonna knock on a couple of doors, I saw this one and I was like, yeah, all the doors are the same. That's not true. There we go. Um, Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Yes. Can I help you? Perhaps. Uh, Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Uh, sure. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Um, so his name is Adrian? What can you tell me about Joanne? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Uh, what about her suicide? Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Okay. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Wait a minute. Okay. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Yeah, there's a new option there. Okay, let's um, ask about himself first. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor, and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. He's in that movie. Adrian! Uh... They really thought you were a girl. Yes. Okay, so that option just moved downwards, and I was like, hey, if that's new, the description is also different. Uh, maybe there's a new option, but there there was nothing too interesting. Kelly sleeps elsewhere? Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okie dokie. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Will do. Kelly, you lying wench. You gotta tell me the truth now. Yeah? So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Maybe. Who is Adrian? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Okay, but... Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So you've been sleep- Yeah, I've been- You've been following- No, no, just confirm. Looks like Adrian's been- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait Do you a have any- Nope, just another- Okay, Thanks wait a helping. minute. Yeah, sure. Let's go back to Adrian. Because this doesn't lead to anywhere, but- We got the confirmation that she wasn't sleeping there. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? I suppose so. What okay. do you want to know? Well... Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? As I said, all I know is that Joanne's room, but since Kelly Rick. Yeah, we know. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. She was sleeping at her boyfriend's. Can you tell me anything? I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. 
If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Yeah, ask her what? Do you know where? No. Well, that's all. Thanks for help. Just remember. We okay, so that opened up something, but not a lot of things. Do we have enough to write the article now? We don't have the photograph, but... Hmm. I don't think I have enough information to write a full article. I should see what else I can discover. At the very least, I should try and find a picture. Do we have... That's not something I can look up. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Nope. No information about Adrian. Nobody has information? No. No information about Kelly. Okay. You know what? I know what to do. There? Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Exactly. Did Kelly lie? So now we need to go back to Kelly. Hey, you lying... Salmon nose. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to go for your absolute piece of garbage. I wanted to go for something smart, but nothing came up in my head. Hey, Kelly. Yeah? I got a question. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Hey, 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 we got something. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. I could just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. That is pretty vanilla. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Um, no. Although the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? No, we're not done. Can we I can really use a photo of Joanne if you have one? Photo. Mm -hmm. All right, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. All right, we're gonna check that out soon. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info. I don't think suit yourself. All right, Thanks I think we're. Out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I think we're done here. So let's, uh, oh, more headaches. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I'd better get home. Yeah, let's go home. Go there. Oh, boy. This is getting bad. This is, this doesn't seem like stress headaches anymore. All right, let's check out, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, but I want to take a look at that photograph. So that's Joanne. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. Of course not. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Who's that I then? I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. And who's this? I assume that this is... Oh, same. Okay. Right. Let's type something up. Write the article. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Article's finished. Picture is scanned. And I am done for the day. So we should give the picture back then. Uh-oh. No. What? Wait. What happened there the plant. What is happening? Um. It's gone. Oh. The pain. It's gone. 
That was strange. It was like, like. Oh, there, it's glowing again. What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Oh. No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. That's all. Um. 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 Hello? D did it just turn into Phasmagoria? Phasmophobia? Bright eyes. What? There's a ghost. Why do they always do that? Because you're a ghost, man. What do you expect? I like Don't your outfit, though. Riff. Long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Black willed dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Oh. Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... This... <laughs> What the hell? Uh, confrontational response? Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. The what now? What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. Uh, Passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. It's the game title. Your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. I... okay, wait a minute. Um, what? Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, Dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. Took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's, oh, that's something we can talk about later. That's you pretty felt rude. something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? The park. You mean, the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap, you should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. 
If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Um. No? Fine. We'll oh. do it in the morning. <laughs> no can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Um, I am confused. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. Okay, I don't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Fine, let's go. That's the spirit. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Hey, I don't believe it. Believe it. Okie dokie. <laughs> After you. <laughs> that, that's that was sense. strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Duh. Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait. What are you talking about? I mean, I assume... Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now, look inside there. And look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Oh, what is that? Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a girl. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Be charming, obviously. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. That's creepy. That's not charming. Um. Work the charm? That's not gonna work. She's, she's so close now, so stay firm then? Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Okay, calm her down. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Who? Who? Can't. Can't. We run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. He got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. That is an angry ghost. Stand your ground. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him. He's the only one who won't go away. Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. She is not going. Making any. Just sit tight. We'll figure sense. this out. And we'll be back. She's not making any sense. Why is she so angry? Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost? Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. <laughs> Hey, wait a sec. Uh, yeah, sleep. Yeah. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> he has to follow. Oh my. <sighs> okay. There's some stuff going on, apparently. Which is very... I love this game. <laughs> I need to say that this uh, is what amazing. A odd dream. It wasn't a dream. He's there. Hey, I'm still here. Want breakfast? Good morning, bright eyes. Oh, God. 
Uh, you're still here. Yeah. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? I don't. I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. <laughs> I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. So this is going to be my life from now on. Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? Um... Uh, these options are also very difficult. I'm gonna assert my I rights. Right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Yes? Uh, uh, what does incredulous mean? We all gotta figure that out. There's more? Oh. Oh, yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. What is it? It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh my god. That's Where what I said. Me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. What? 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 So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? Uh, I... I dig. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Okie dokie. What about the park ghost? What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. Okay. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Okay. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. 
There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Hey, I, I, something just popped up to me. So he started with my grandmother? That's where he began? Or did he do this, like, I don't know, ages before that? Decades before that? That's a question I would like to be answered. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we've learned a lot this episode. Oh, hey. Welcome back. Thank you. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Okay, how can we discover her identity? How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. What? That's convenient. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. Um, hmm? The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. So we have to ask around then? What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. Oh yeah, we got that one. Okay, how can we convince the ghost that it's dead? How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic, or too violent, or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. Oh, interesting. Can we exercise ghosts? Uh... Take, bring them into my head space, apparently. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Okay. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. That's a good thing. And uh, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it next time. So thank you very much for watching The Blackwell Legacy, and I will see you then.